Hello and welcome back to Gavin Sonics B. Well, the big day has arrived and uh, it's time to assemble the Ford fuselage onto the tail cone, uh, hopefully for the last time, and uh, rivet it all together. We will see. So, um, I've just started and uh, completed the first step which is to attach the two side panels and get everything level. So, here we are. The two side panels have gone back on and uh, are clear code into place. And I've also clear code into place the top and bottom forward cross members just to get it all straight. Um, I've repositioned the entire thing as back as far as I can to the back wall to give myself a bit of space around the front end. And uh, so what I'm intending to do is to start constructing it from the aft end of the Ford fuselage forwards. Um, so I'll have a look at all my bits and pieces. Probably going to have to take the uh, seat straps off the side of the uh, off the sides um, because I can't get the um, seat. Um, the bit that runs across the back of the seat in with them in position. So I shall busy away and do that and get that clear code into place and then we'll see about putting some rivets in. See you shortly. Step two, I've put in the seat cross member, the seat support across the back of the bottom of the seat and the elevator idler assembly and uh, I've riveted it onto the side panels on both sides and also riveted the front end of the idler onto the cross member as well and uh, the back end's clear code because I want to be able to detach the front fuselage from the tail cone. So that's step two done and it's looking good. Onwards and upwards. So I've just completed step three. Um, we've riveted in the seat, of seat belt attach points the center ones that's been riveted to the back cross member and then put in the seat bearers the four seat bearers and they've been riveted to the back seat cross member as well and also the rivets for the seat belt attach sub-assembly as well so that's all gone in nicely hopefully we'll find out at the end of this whether all the holes line up with the holes in the floor <laughs> when i put the floor on um hope they will so here we are at step four of uh, our assembly of the forward fuselage and uh, i've got the aft spar tunnel assembly in place and uh, I'm pretty pleased because all the holes line up and uh, it all appears to be sitting down nicely in the countersinks all the dimples line up and uh, pretty pleased so uh, it's level as well which always helps and uh, so I've just got about 86 or so countersunk rivets to put in now. And that's my next task.
This is looking through from the right side at the aft spar tunnel assembly, clicoed in place. And uh, that's the front side of it. And then here's the aft side. And as I say, everything seems to have gone together well. It all lines up. Everything's level and square. So I'm going to go ahead and rivet it in. And there we have it. All the rivets are in. And uh, the aft tunnel assembly is now part of the Ford fuselage. And uh, I must say it looks really good. All the rivets have gone in really nicely. And uh, none of them are proud. They're all flush or just a fraction recessed. So the uh, spar should slide in there without any problem at all. So on to the next bit. Well, I've just got to the bit that I was dreading, which is putting the floor back on. And uh, if there was anything going to be wrong, it was when I was going to put the floor on and uh, I was worried about that, all the holes lining up. But I must say, I have just put the floor on and uh, of the 424 holes in the bottom of it, every single one lined up with the, uh, the holes in the other parts. There wasn't one that was out of line and I'm really, really pleased. So now I just have to put a lot of rivets in. I'm going to rivet the, uh, the back section uh, and both the longer arms, the, the bottom longer arms. Um, so uh, basically the bottom side of the spar, aft spar tunnel, the seat bearers and the back seat uh, member and various little bits and pieces in amongst so that's going to take me some time because there are probably about uh, 200 rivets or maybe more than that maybe 300 rivets to put in so I'm going to get on with that but I must say it has gone back together exactly as I took it apart so um I'm pretty happy with that. Everything's still level, square, looking good. More later. No, I'm not in bed. I'm lying underneath the uh, the Sonics Ford fuselage, and this is uh, how I've been riveting everything. Uh, got a nice pillow, and uh, been riveting uh, upwards underneath the. Uh, bottom of the cockpit so I turn the camera around there you can see them all hundreds and hundreds of rivets so that's taken a few hours to do it's now the next day I did some last night and I've done the rest this morning. So that's all done. And what's next? Now that I've scrabbled out from underneath, uh, what's next is the firewall. And so I've popped the firewall on. It went on very easily. Everything lined up again. I've got it temporarily clicoed in place. Just checked out that uh, I've got everything in the right place and it's all still square and level. And so now I'm going to start riveting the firewall on. I've also got the stiffeners 
in place and uh, decided to take the uh, the bracket off the rear end of the stiffener because that was never going to uh, to work so uh, I'll um, rivet that on once the uh, the Ford Tunnel Z is in place finally so more rivets required more later so after another hundred or so rivets the uh, firewall is riveted in place or the lower part of the firewall is riveted in place and uh, also the stiffener is riveted in as well and uh, all is looking good no problems everything lined up everything's in place as far as we can go uh, I've got some bolts to uh, to pop in on the bottom I'll do that another day now I'm starting to get tired um, so I'll pop those bolts in apart from that I think that's about it for the assembly of the Ford fuselage um, that's the basic Ford fuselage completely assembled so there we go that was a bit intense a lot of uh, rivets goodness knows how many I haven't bothered to top it tot it all up but uh, there's a hundred in the front there probably two or three hundred it's got yeah probably four four hundred maybe uh, five hundred rivets uh, been put in over the last couple of days so I hope you enjoyed watching me put it together well, you didn't see me put it together, but uh, saw the progress of putting it together. And uh, we'll move on to something different on the next video. See you later.